good evening everyone i am megasham sinkar and i am your host for today's webinar i welcome you all on behalf of pentagraph for this month pentatox series as you know pentatox series has been a platform that brings together brilliant minds uh, thought leaders from various field to share their expertise and insights it is a testament to our collective commitment to growth and continuous learning i'm i'm really excited about today's topic which is private equity and we have someone who has over two decades of experience in asset management investment banking private equity merger and acquisition and corporate finance he was ex ceo of sp growth partner an asset management company based out of hong kong having investments in australia sri lanka philippines thailand uh indonesia where he managed investment in sectors like oil and gas healthcare hospitality industrial goods and financial services his notable projects include acquisition restructuring and exit from a petrochemical plant in philippines with the exit value of 125 million dollar he is a chartered accountant by qualification currently he has been managing india inflection opportunity fund since inception and now new series bharat value fund so ladies and gentlemen please join me in welcoming this dynamic personality mr nishar khanulkar hi nishar welcome to pentadoc series hi meksham ji i think that was really a great appreciating words about myself so really really thank you and appreciate all the viewers for uh, joining this call uh before i start uh, just let me know if i'm audible yeah uh, nisha just just one request to all the participant uh, uh just want to make a small request to all the participants we'll have a q and a at the end of the webinar uh, you can either raise your uh, hands or type your question in q and a so nisha uh, the the private equity market in india uh, has shown a remarkable growth in recent years uh, with an average uh, annual investment volume of approximately 40 billion dollar over the last 5 years well there has been some decline in uh, from the peak of 2021 due to global challenges nevertheless private equity investment in india remains substantial uh, reflecting continued interest and confidence in our economic conditions our businesses and growth potential so can you please share us uh, tell us about how you've been managing private equity investment at your fund uh, about your organization background and what can be expected from your fund excellent i think you you have said the tone in a very right way so before i jump on to uh, your question um, i would just like to tell the viewers which i normally tell that uh, what is what exactly i'm going to present so make sure i'm going to structure my presentation into four parts the first part would include basically viewers would come to know what is coming their way so what they are going to listen uh, for next 30 35 minutes that i would set up the tone at the very first stage that is part a the part b of my presentation would include about the background of our group because ultimately group manages the fund and the background of the group has a direct correlation to the success of the fund that's what i personally believe so group background i'm going to cover point number 2 the third point i am going to talk about the fund i would try not to make it too technical but in the fund presentation i am going to explain four things exactly which are necessary for the viewers point number 1 exit where do we take exit point number 2 is entry point number 3 is most important point where do we make money paisa ka kamate hain and point number 4 i think the most important factor is what is the safety so these four points in a non technical way i am going to explain and post that if i would like to the part 4 i am going to cover it in a fashion called is that what is the demand supply exactly how exactly each and every business be it my business be it your business every business has two angle one is demand and one is supply so what is my demand how am i managing my demand and what is my supply how am i managing my supply so that is how i am going to structure my presentation so the first part what viewers can expect what is coming their way so yes this is uh, so sebi has basically this called is this sector is called as the aif alternative alternative investment fund aif this category sebi has currently regulators have given three categories category 1 category 2 category 
the category one is basically startup venture capitalist fund they come into the category one category the category three is more like a listed so there is a hardly any difference between the category three and the pms they almost go hand in hand barring certain differences but the category two which i am going to speak today is unlisted to be listed also called as a private equity but in india sebi has categorized this as a aif alternative investment fund category two so as you know we are going to speak about the unlisted opportunities those are likely to list over a period of two years to three years the biggest hurdle for unlisted opportunities for the investor are two number one how to identify because if you talk about the listed opportunities if i'm not mistaken there are around 8000 listed companies maksham ji and there are plenty of platform which can give you in and out details about those 8000 listed companies right from beta profitability industry analysis everything you can get on a click of button mm. on the flip side when you come to unlisted companies that kind of information is not available so does that mean that investors should not invest into the unlisted capacity because if you google it little bit and those who have a little bit of a finance knowledge one thing is very clear in unlisted you are going to make more money than the listed segment that is what the whole world is saying i am not the first person to say this obviously make some ji take any sector you are entering say at a p multiple of a 40 in a listed segment in unlisted in a same sector you will come at a p multiple of a 30 reason listed you can buy friday sell monday unlisted you cannot do that so there is a something called as a holding period तो जो प्रीमियम है दैट इज फॉर द होल्डिंग पीरियड का प्रीमियम है सो अनलिस्टेड यू मेक मोर मनी देन द लिस्टेड दिस स्टेटमेंट यू विल इनवेरिएबली फाइल ऑन यू विल फाइंड ऑन अ गूगल मेक श्योर जी इन माय ओपिनियन दैट इज अ 50% स्टेटमेंट दैट इज नॉट अ फुल स्टेटमेंट सो इन माय ओपिनियन लेट मी कंप्लीट दैट स्टेटमेंट इन अनलिस्टेड सेगमेंट यू कैन मेक मोर मनी देन द लिस्टेड सेगमेंट प्रोवाइडेड प्रोवाइडेड योर फंड मैनेजर नोस हाउ टू मेक एन एग्जिट if there is an exit then only the valuation is there then sorry to say if you fail to make an exit then unfortunately your share certificate and the tissue paper has one and the same valuation so that is the distinguishing feature between what exactly we are trying to do so that is the viewers can expect from me how we are going to make investments into unlisted segment i would call it as a very very my current investors have named this fund as a exit oriented fund so let me continue with the same tagline though marketing is not allowed by sebi so my jargon need not be taken in a stricter way i'm keeping the very light way but what we are going to discuss today is a exit oriented unlisted equity that is what we are going to discuss today so first part i have completed miksham ji let me jump to the second part which is the background of the group for which we are working and the group entities so the group is called pentomet group background about the pentomet pentomet started its operation 10 years ago we completed 10 years exactly last december so as we known into the uh, mumbai financial market we are india's largest mid market merchant bank so merchant bank is the license issued by regulators to do ipo any ipo you see the central controlling authority in a layman word is a merchant banker you do 50 crore ipo you do 50000 crore ipo you have to pass it through the merchant bank there is no option so as a group we have executed 100 109 ipos in last 10 years that is the background we are talking about though we started with very small ipos why we use the word mid market because we started with a very small ipos of maybe 100 crore market cap from there we because initially nobody entertains you that is how we started with a tough way but over a period of time we grew and right now we are touching the ipos of having the market cap of 3000 crore so that is how we have grown over a period of time so that is called as a mid market merchant bank but though we started very very small way i would like to say that even if i take the uh, market cap total of top 40 ipos that pentomet has done today as is very we stand it is in the range of 22000 crore so even we started slow we have shown that the ipos we have done the companies have grown means investors have got the confidence in us so that's very much about pentomet pentomet into various other activities but this is the most important factor Pentomet is remains India's largest mid market merchant bank in terms of number of IPOs we stand number four into the country the top three being the banks ICICI Kotak and Axis of the world so that's about Pentomet before I jump to the presentation I would like to mention about the one more important group entity and I'm sure most of the viewers would know about it Asit C Mehta is a very old broking house they got the broking license way back in 1982. 
and along with uh, the great Rakesh Junwalaji, they were the, one of the pioneers into the broking industry. The company was headed by is headed by Ms. Dina Mehta, who was the first and the only lady chairman of Bombay Stock Exchange. So Mekshamji, as we speak, Pentomath has 52% ownership into Asit Simeta. So technically, we are the new owners of Asit Simeta. So what Asit Simeta has given to Pentomath is very important from the fund point of view. So as a fund, basically, Pentomath has good history till the date of IPO, I would say. But Asit Mehta being their broking house, being their institution, they have excellent institutional connects. So Asit Mehta has given the wings to Pentomath to enter into the post-IPO scenario. So that is the biggest thing. Classically, if I had to give you an example, one good point I would say. So Pentomath was doing IPO even before Asit Mehta acquisition. But if I had to talk about the last six, seven IPOs that we did post Asit Mehta acquisition, IPOs subscribe at a retail level, HNL level and institution level. So last six IPOs on an average at the retail level got 35 to 40 times subscribed. Whereas at the institution level, it got 150, 160 times subscribed. It's like Maruti BMW got sold more than the Maruti 800. In a funny way, I can say it. Why? Because of the network that Asit Simeta has about the institutions and the product that Pentomath has. So Pentomath's good product and the network of Asit Simeta has played the wonder. That is the reason last six, seven IPOs at an institution level got more than 150 times subscribers. So this is how the two organizations have come together. Right now, we are technically from legal perspective, we are different. But otherwise, the knowledge sharing keeps on happening. In addition to that, Mekshamji, before I jump on to the presentation, I would like to mention about the two artificial intelligences that we have done. Let me clarify, fund does not invest into the artificial intelligence companies. Fund invests only into the asset-backed hardcore companies. So hardcore asset-backed companies that we see. But we realize one thing, that if we want to grow the hardcore assets company, the artificial intelligence is required. So the two companies, most important artificial intelligence companies, one is called as a analyst.ai. So as I said, the data of unlisted companies is not available. Today, the most important thing is data. WhatsApp knows you and me are on this call because you have WhatsApp and mobile WhatsApp. That is called data that they have. So what analyst.ai gives us, Pentomath owns 80% into analyst.ai, is any unlisted company. We want to know their GST default, TDS default, criminal liability against the company, for the company, the cases filed against the company, for the company, everything, including their PF detail. So all the so-called red flag, green flag, yellow flag, we came to know in less than 15 minutes, along with the industry research report. So what exactly you get in the listed segment in two minutes, we get that in the unlisted segment in 15 minutes. Otherwise, people take three months to four months to collate that data. So this is how we have invested. The second investment is called as a lead zen. Lead zen, as the name suggests, is help, helps you in generating the leads. What we figure out is that we are investing into the hardcore manufacturing sector. But if you want to grow them, they need to have the pinpoint accurate data. If you get pinpoint accuracy data in any business, your business is bound to grow. So the reason why we invested into these two companies is to help my investing companies to grow. So now let's jump to the third part, Mekshamji, about the fund and try to make it into the uh, a little bit non-technical way. So with the combination of these four entities, Pentomath, Asit Simeta, and two startup, we have started the first fund called as the India Inflection Opportunity Fund, which we got a very good response from the market. That is the reason the second fund came, the Bharat Valley Fund. Technically, if you ask the difference between the India Inflation Opportunity Fund and Bharat Valley Fund, in my opinion, there is no difference. Because practically, one is running one and a half year ahead of the second fund. That is the only thing I can tell you. So what is this fund is all about? This fund, if I have to explain in one minute, then I would say that under this fund, Mekshamji, we invest in such companies whose IPO we are confident of bringing in next two or two and a half years time. So right now, typically the fund management, they call as you enter, you nurture the company and then you exit. These are the typical three steps of the fund management. Entry, karo, company, ko badao, or fir becho. Rather than doing that way, that is the correct way. I'm not saying that is the wrong way. Rather than going that way, what we do is that we already spot the exit first. So when we see the company, we ask two questions to ourselves. If the answer to this question is yes, we invest. Otherwise, we do not invest. Point number one, why do IPO fail? 80% of the IPO fail because of something called as a DRHP failure. DRHP is a draft red herring prospectus, which every investor is supposed to read before investing into IPO. It's a different story. We read it or we do not read it. 
So regulators are becoming very stronger day by day. If you have the compliances issue, you may be a profitable company. But if you have the compliances issue, rest assured you are not going to get the F2 because regulators are very strict with that. Since we have done 100 and the merchant making team has done 109 APOs, they have got an acumen to understand. Plus the AI that we invested, we come to know the defaults of the company way in advance. Are they curable? They are not curable. So first question we ask, when a private equity invests, they see how the company would perform after seven years, eight years, nine years. Whereas if we invest, we see, can we go and file and we have the probability of passing DRHP from the regulators in next three years times or two years times? That's question number one. Question number two is to bring any IPO before IPO, you need to bring a good anchor investor. That is the requirement of the law. Anchor is any SEBI or RBI registered people. For example, classic example of ITOC mutual fund, Bank of India mutual fund. These are kind of a anchor investors. Federal bank, these are anchor investors. These anchor investors have invariably invested previously with our IP. So we know what is the liking. So if we believe that one amongst the anchor can come onto the board. So these are the two questions. Can we get the approval of the documentation from the regulators? And can we attract the one investors among them? If the answer to this question is yes, then we invest. Otherwise, we do not invest. That is the reason I use the word this is a exit oriented fund in a very short way. So now I will jump to the main part that is the fund and I'm going to tell four things. Number one, exit. Number two, entry. Number three, paisa ka kamate hai. And number four, safety kya hai. So I'm just going to flash the presentation. Make sure just let me know if this is visible or not. Yeah. I hope the speed is fine. I'm not going fast. Yeah, yeah. it's perfectly okay. I'll try to explain the fund in one slide only rather than jumping out to multiple slides so that it becomes very easy. So friends, this is a life cycle of any particular company. Let's call this point. This is the point of IPO. So on the left side of this, you remain unlisted. And on the right side of this, you remain listed. Now, very funnily, you will ask me post IPO uncertainty. Why? Because once the IPO happens in your company, people who are deeper pockets than you, they have a license and a liberty to, to play with your stock. In simple, say you are investing in a listed segment in a company A. Along with you, there might be another 400 investors. You do not know the move of another 399 investors till you are buying and still you are selling. That's called as a blind investment. So that's called element of uncertainty. Whereas when we play here, I completely know the move of my counterparts because the number of other investors, I know them in and out. Technically, nobody can exit before me. So that is the reason we call it as an element of certainty versus element of uncertainty. So now let's see, as I said, the word exit first. So what is my exit? By now, most of you must have guessed, I am going to get out on the day of IPO. Very important because unlisted or listed, the biggest difference is the exit. Why IPO? Get out when your stock is most liquid. The day your IPO comes, under the observation of the regulators, technically you are liquidating 25% of your stocks. At no point of time, your stock is going to be so liquid as it is on the day of IPO. So, us work niklo, jis din aapka stock most liquid hai. So, that is called the day of IPO. So, that I have figured out ki mujhe IPO ke din nikalna hai. Ab soste valuation bhi decide karte. Ek chota sa India ka trend dekhi hai last five years. Let me ask you two questions. How many, make sure ki aap to IPO, aap listed market ke champion ho. Paat sal mein, how many IPOs above 5,000 crore India has seen very successfully. Give me five names. I don't think you can give the name. I know the answer. You cannot give the name. Successful IPO. No, Let me slightly tweak the question and just ask it to your analyst. How many IPOs below 300, 3,000 crore India has seen successful in last five years? I'm sure the list will cross 100. Mm -hmm. So what does this indicate? Each and everything has its budget. So try to do within the budget of India. The budget of India, the data says is below 3,000 crore. 3,000 crore ke niche ke IPO So, apne ko we want to get out on the day of IPO at a valuation not over 3,000 crore is what something that we have fixed in our mind. So, keeping this in mind, let's see kya entry kya hoti. So, in entry, I have multiple parameters, but I'm going to tell you four or five important parameters. First thing, you bring the IPO, abhi nikal na IPO. You cannot bring two investors and bring your IPO. You want to bring HNI also, you want to bring retailers also, you want to bring institutions also. So very famously say in Hindi called Jho Dikta Wo Bikta Hai. 
सो एसेट बैक कंपनी इज समथिंग व्हिच इज वेरी इजी टू सेल सी सॉफ्टवेयर एंड फिनटेक मैक्सिमम जे पर्सन लाइक यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड बट इफ यू ट्राई टू रियली गो एंड एक्सप्लेन डाउन द लेवल इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड आई एम नॉट अगेंस्ट दैट इंडस्ट्री बट समटाइम्स एट टाइम्स इट बिकम्स डिफिकल्ट टू एक्सप्लेन बट एसेट बैक इंडस्ट्री यू कैन एक्सप्लेन एनीबॉडी सो पॉइंट नंबर 1 इन्वेस्ट इनटू द एसेट बैक कंपनी सेकंड पॉइंट व्हेन आई एम इन्वेस्टिंग इनटू द कंपनी द टॉप लाइन ऑफ द कंपनी शुड बी मिनिमम 200 करोड़ तो मैं स्टार्टअप की रीजनिंग ले रहा हूं 200 टू 2000 करोड़ के टॉप लाइन में मैं इन्वेस्ट करता हूं टॉप लाइन इज द रेवेन्यू सर एक विजुअलाइज कीजिए एनी मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंपनी व्हेन द कंपनी स्टार्ट्स 0 टू 100 करोड़ 0 टू 150 करोड़ प्रमोटर स्टार्टअप राइट बट वंस ही हैज अचीव द टॉप लाइन ऑफ 150 और 200 करोड़ दैट्स वेयर वी बिलीव ही हैज गॉट द पल्स ऑफ द बिजनेस एट दैट पर्टिकुलर टाइम इफ यू गिव हिम मनी यू गिव हिम द आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस एंड यू गिव हिम द कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस he can definitely run from 200 to 2000 at 2000 he is going to face a different level of competition there would he would require another kind of a support so that is the reason we have categorically chosen this segment of 200 to 2000 top line so that's point number 2 third point thoda technical but i can explain there are various multiples on which ipos are coming p multiple hai ebitda multiple hai revenue multiple hai believe me the most interesting multiple on which you can attract a good investor is called as a p multiple price earning ratio problem ye hai logon ke books mein profit after tax hi nahi hote jab pat hi nahi hai to p multiple work out hi nahi hota because pat nahi hai log ebitda multiple pe jaate to so simple si cheez hai jab bechna p multiple pe hai and might as well enter also into a p multiple matlab enter only into the pat positive companies My first fund, the average P multiple is 11.5, whereas we all know where BSC's current P multiple is a north of 30. So that is the gap I'm talking about. So enter into the pad positive companies. The fourth point, in my opinion, the most important point, the day I'm investing, promoter should have minimum 90% stake into the company, because ultimately you are betting onto the promoter. So promoter should have minimum 90% stake. आप देखिए सर manufacturing company having minimum 200 crore top line pat positive and promoter 90% stake this a kind of a company kabhi urti nahi hai so what i'm talking about is a safety plus ye grow karna aapko easy jata hai so that is the reason we are talking about the safety first and these are growth oriented company last point the epicenter of the presentation jitna paisa laga rahe ho the company's gross block should be minimum 2 and 1/2 times of what you are investing if i am investing 50 crore the gross block of the company should be matlab asset value of the company should be minimum 125 to 150 crore aapka paisa safe rehta hai so what i'm talking about is the safety first point and again so exit oriented and safety that we are trying to see so this is where we exit this is where we enter the last two points paisa ka kamate hain and your safety paisa kamane ka very simple tarika hai as you all must have get i am ultimately going to make the game of p multiple P मल्टीपल का फॉर्मूला ही है प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्स मल्टीपल पी मल्टीपल इज इक्वल टू वैल्यूएशन ए मल्टीपल बी इज इक्वल टू सी वेरी सिंपल फॉर्मूला आई एम नो वेर स्टेलिंग यू मेक्शन जी की टर्न अराउंड करके उसको प्रॉफिटेबल कर रहा हूँ बैंक कंपनी एंड ट्राइंग टू मेक इट प्रोजिटिव कंपनी एंड ट्राइंग टू मेक इट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड करोड़ कंपनी डिफिकल्ट इम्पोसिबल है बट चैलेंजिंग है बट 300 400 करोड़ कंपनी जो प्रमोटर ने अपने बलबूते पे लिखा है क्योंकि उसका नब्बे टका है आज के तारीख में उसको पैसा दो कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस दो आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस दो सो तीन साल में तीन सौ पच्चीस सौ करके दिखा इजी बेट रहता है मतलब मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ पैड बढ़ा रहा हूँ ऑलरेडी जो कंपनी है पैड दिखा रही है और आपने देखा है मेरे फर्स्ट पॉइंट में भी ईच एंड एवरी कंपनी पैड पॉजिटिव द वे आई पुट द मनी इमीजिएटली नेक्स्ट ईयर पैड बढ़ के आ जाता है सो ए बढ़ रहा हूँ दिख इज पैड B का सिंपल है अनलिस्टेड टू लिस्टेड इट इज योर फंडामेंटल राइट टू कम एट अ लोअर वैल्यूएशन सो इट इज योर एबिलिटी टू कन्वर्ट इन लिक्विड स्टॉक इन टू लिक्विड स्टॉक मतलब आईपीओ कर दो गोइंग टू गिव यू दैट डेल्टा सो पॉइंट ये है तीन साल में पैट डबल करो पी मल्टीपल डबल करो इफ पैट मल्टीपल डबल होता है पी मल्टीपल डबल होता है बाय डिफॉल्ट वैल्यूएशन एरेथमेटिकली चेक करके देखना फोर टाइम्स हो जाता है This is exactly this is a traditional game. Let me assure you, I am not inventing a new vehicle at all. This is how traditionally Indian investors have made their money over a period of sixty, seventy years. Unfortunately, in last couple of years, we started running behind revenue multiple and I don't know what all multiples. 
I am just bringing back investors to the traditionally how India has made the money. That is how we make the money. Double the pad, double the payment, improve the pad, improve the payment multiple. Dono chalte hai, to aapko, you go technically go multifold. So this is how we make the money. Let's see the last point of the presentation, safety. Equity is not a safe instrument. Everybody in this call knows because when it comes to the issue, they stand last into the row. But the way we are trying to structure the presentation, we have a four level agreement when we invest into any companies. The first point, if I'm investing in any company today, the promoter of the company has to bring the IPO in 30 months. And on that day, this is the clauses I'm talking about the shareholders agreement. And I have a right to appoint the merchant maker. So they can make a now. Today I'm investing into the company, but also I'm making sure that exit is in my hand. Normally, you have to enter company in the company. As you company grow, company exit is going to the I am not allowing that to happen. So, I am completely controlling the transition with my control. So, this is my IPO. And I have a right to appoint the merchant maker. Now, so second place, which are these companies? They are asset backed company which everybody understands. Promoter ka stake hai yaha pe. Growth oriented company hai. Plus, Pentomac ka kutka background hai. So, the probability of IPO is very high. Till today, it has never happened that the merchant banking team has filed a DRHP and they have not got the IPO. Success rate is zero, but you never know the future. In worst case, something goes wrong tomorrow. Some things can go beyond my control also. So if that happens, IPO doesn't come, then immediately two things happen. First thing, I have a right for a stake sale. Means technically, I can go and stale my stake into the outside. Imagine KJ Maxim Ji, this clause is all with everyone. But having this clause with anybody and having this clause with a promoter having 90% is a big difference. Okay. Suppose Mr. Promoter is having 90 and I'm having 10%. Moment I try to sell the 10% to his competitor, promoter will never allow me to do that. But if some promoter ka 50-60% hai, usko mein jake bolta hon, ki, sir, mein mera 10% market mein bech hon, he is not interested because uska khud ka stake nahi hai. Isi ke liye third clause immediately trigger hota hai. Promoter will come and negotiate with you, sir. Please do not sell it to somebody else. I will do something. So what is that something? That is the clause number three. Promoter, each and every shareholders agreement that we have entered, promoter has given us in writing in first fund that they have right to buy me back. They will buy me back at 18 to 24 percent IRR. Promoter ke paas pledge free shares bethe hoye hai. Uske date equity achhi hai. So technically what I'm trying to do over here is you can write it. Startup ka promoter nahi de rahe. This is a grown-up company having 800 crore, 900 crore top and a bus promoter having 90% stake. No other business. If he gives you in writing that if something goes wrong, I will buy you back at 18 to 24% error. I think you have reasons to believe that. So basically, make sure you have to do Let me explain in a little bit different way for viewers. IPL chal rahe. How to win the cricket match? India can understand cricket example very well. Top order plus bottom order is equal to your total runs. This is exactly what happens in cricket. This is happens in a fund management also. So how can I correlate with the fund management? You have 10 investments. Ki. Pahli 100 crore ki 300 will be. 3x return will be. The fund manager will say that I have 3x. Ki. But if the next 200 will be 0. Gaya, so 300 will be 300 will be return 0. So the principle of totality will be marked. So in cricketing language, my top order is my IPOs. As per the current scenario, they are destined to give you good returns. But bottom order is first time. So, there is 18 which is more than the mutual fund. Assurance is a promoter. And which promoter is promoter is not a startup promoter. So, that is how I am safeguarding my top order also. And if bottom order is first time, then there is safety. Hai. So, this is how I have made the fund a little bit convenient. To but that could be the reason in first fund, even likes of government of India's fund of fund. They have also taken a 12% stake out of the 500 crore, 60 crore came from government of India. Plus, kafi notable investors, since this is recording, I cannot tell in a public domain, but as you know the names of late, so uh, plus Pentomac Group themselves, I invested 25 crore. I myself, I invested my money. So this is how we have packaged the transaction in a, in a way. Few things I would like to add very quickly that uh, we do not invest into uh, um, tobacco, alcohol, gambling, animal killing, um, gaming. These are the sectors we do not invest. Uh, most important factor is behavioral due diligence. So basically, the reason why we invested into artificial intelligence, we personally believe in Meksham Ji, promoter ke niyat mein yadhi paisa wapas kana nahi hai. Your company might be running at a 50% pat level. Aapka paisa wapas nahi hai. 
So what we do, each and every company, each and every fund has their quant model. Quant is basically the rating model. So you, what are your ratios? What are your outcomes? So based on that, you keep on giving the rating. If the rating is more than 80%, you go and invest. Every person has a quant. I have also my quant. The biggest differentiating in my quant, 35% weightage has been given to behavioral due diligence. Behavioral due diligence is what is, does it mean? Is what is the mindset of the promoter? What time is coming to office? Where is he investing? What are his multiple investments? Is a matter of my concern. So that's where we capture a lot on a behavioral due diligence. Unfortunately, most of the top guys are not able to do only the, because promoter mindset matters a lot for us. So that is the point I wanted to highlight over here. The other point is that any business, I'm going to cover that in the fourth part, any business you do, entry or exit mechanism. Hota hai. Entry or exit ke upar aapka control nahi hai. So, to aapko niche se koi press karega ya to upar se press karega. That is called as you will get sandwich. So, in this business, the exit is already into my control because that is what I'm saying. I have been demonstrating this time and again and entry is also into my control. So, I'm trying to control the entry and exit parameters. This is how we have been a little bit successful. I'm not trying to complicate it much, but what we try to do is a couple of factors is this is the shortest tenure fund. Five years. Technically, where most of the funds are in the range of eight years, ten years, twelve years. This is a five-year fund. We do take active ownership approach. This is very important for Mekshamji sure Virgin Investment. And none of the investment, and most of the investment, in fact, all the investments of first fund, we have been the first investor. Okay. What we try to do, this is a very important point. So, in a non-technical way, we always say that imagine IPO is like a bridge and investors are like a car. Take an example of startup. I'm not against startup. We have also made any heavy investment. So basically in my first fund, all the companies are having an average top line in the north of 700 crore. In no company, I have fourth investor. First is promoter, second is my fund and third one is my fund investor who wants to invest extra money. So what I have done is that why I say IPO is like a bridge and investors are like a car? Because bridge pay bottle nahi hota hai when you have more investors. So what I have ensured is that the day IPO comes, the only one car will climb that bridge. That is my fund. Because promoter and the co-investor are not going to exit before me. So I have kept exit. I have not only defined, I have not only well defined the exit, I'm also keeping the exit option clean. So the just did exit money ka time hai. So that is called as a working investment. If I go and invest with other investors, They'll come and say, sir, mujhe bhi exit lena hai. So that is what I'm avoiding. The day exit comes, we will take the exit first. Exit and in-house capabilities are in-house. Exit and entry capabilities are in-house. This point I would like to slowly cover. Most of the fund will come and say, I have the exit capabilities. I have the exit capabilities. They say, I will exit to private equity. I will exit to much and acquisition. Unfortunately, the problem is that there are no set rules that you step number one, two, three, four, aapka private equity ho jayega. You do step number five, six, seven, up come margins and acquisition. That is not well defined, no guarantee. But at least when it comes to IPO, the regulators have defined the step that you do this, you do this, you do this, you do this. At least they will come and give you the approval if your compliances are well regulated. So, what I'm trying to mention over here is that you want to do any scale, you want to scale up any business, you need to work in a regulated environment. So, what we are doing is we are working in a regulated environment because IPO is a regulated product where the steps for getting the approval are very well defined. This is what I wanted to mention over here is that I'm not touching this part because most of you already given my background and Madhu's background also. Last point before we jump to the other part. I'm not threatening, but this is SEBI's highest product. The reason I use this word is not for the, because today SEBI does not have any product beyond this. The minimum ticket size is one crore. Why I'm saying this? Because this is highest product, so it is heavily governed by SEBI. So we are subjected to 4-4 audit. The first audit is books of accounts done by Deloitte, which is the big four. The second audit is whatever agreement I enter with the investors that gets separately audited and the report goes to SEBI. So rest assured, you are saying that this is a 50-page document. I cannot read it. Don't worry. SEBI has put a separate auditor just to vouch that whatever I sign with you, am I complying or not? If I fail to complain, the report goes to SEBI. And one copy comes to my home also. The third point in front of sitting in front of you, I'm talking about a first fund 500 crore, second fund 1000 crore, big numbers. Believe me, I do not have a right to do a 1 lakh rupee FD. SEBI has kept a watchdog between you and me called as a trustee. That is called Orbis. 
each and every payment transaction i have to do i have to inform orbis orbis informs to the bank they will check whether i am making the payment as per the governing document if i am deviating from the governing document they will stop me and if they allow me the regulators will come very hard on first on them and then on me so that is the safety net you have plus each and every investing company gets separately audited so that is how reason behind why did i mention this is a heavily regulated product i'm talking from the investor protection point of view so next time ji i am just quickly summarizing the fund in next 2 3 minutes this is a category to alternative investment fund the fund size is 1000 crore plus i can go up to 1000 crore the period is 5 years the management fee is 2% setup fee most of the people charge that has been waived hurdle rate is 10% per annum means for first 10% i will not get anything if i fail to achieve that the carried interest is 20% with catch up and the auditor is deloitte so this explains the presentation of the fund which i try to mention in a non technical way i will just cover one more point and then when we can go for a q and a because as i promised i am going to talk about the buy side sell side each and every each and every business has a buy side and sell side so mixam ji what is my buy side my basically my buy side is basically the promoters so what happened supposing you are a 300 crore 400 crore company technically from 300 400 you have 90% manufacturing setup from here you want to go to 4000 what are the steps first of all you have to appoint a financial consultant then a financial consultant has to get a private equity investor the private equity investor will come and tell you promoter that you give me the exit so to give the exit to private equity investor after 3 years promoter has to go and appoint a merchant banker then go and file the papers to save me then go and bring the anchor investor fir ipo le kiya aur fir post ipo manage karo आपको पता है दैट इज द रीजन मोस्ट ऑफ द टीयर टू टीयर थ्री के प्रमोटर्स अपने ऑफिस में नहीं रहते हैं नरिमनपुर में बॉम्बे में रहते हैं फाइनेंशियल कंसल्टेंट्स के ऑफिस में दिस इज द रीजन बिकॉज़ दे आर नॉट मैनेजिंग द कंपनी दे आर मैनेजिंग द फाइनेंस सो व्हेन द प्रमोटर कम्स टू मी माय सजेशन इज ये सात स्टेप भूल जाओ आई एम योर वन स्टॉप शॉप आई एम योर फाइनेंशियल कंसल्टेंट आई एम योर प्राइवेट इक्विटी इन्वेस्टर आई विल ओनली हेल्प यू इन हाउ टू फाइल द रेगुलेटरी अप्रूवल्स i only get the good anchor investors i only help you in getting the ipo and i only manage the post ipo because that is where i invest into asit cement so from tomorrow onwards you take my money number 1 you take my artificial intelligence and you take my corporate governance main aapko sab cheez deta hu 3 saal mein nariman pad mein mat baitho apne office mein baitho aur wo 300 crore ka top line 600 crore ke dekh he takes that bet he takes that bet because he sees a one stop shop in me Now this is not a charitable institution. In return, what I ask him, may I offer to him is simple. I already told you, listed you are coming at a 40 p multiple. Unlisted, it is your fundamental right to come at a lower p multiple. So I tell him, I will not come at a 30 p multiple. I will come at a 15. Technically, from promoter point of view, what is the loss, sir? 10 percent equity he is giving me at a 50 percent discount, 4 percent, 5 percent loss. Okay, correct. Hai? He will take it, sir. So, मुझे बात बताइए. What is the private equity fund raising cost in India? Nothing less than four percent, five percent. What is the average waiting time? Nothing less than eight months, nine months. So, rather than waiting for six months to nine months, plus incurring four percent, five percent loss, plus not knowing what is the face of the ultimate investor, here you are getting money into the one month time. Plus, you know the investor, and you know the investor is going to bring help you from A to Z everything. In lieu of that, you have to lose at least three to four percent. it's a win win situation for the promoter so that is where what i do we do come at a such a lower valuation and from here where the market goes i should not get affected because market p multiple is at a 30 35 i have already entered at 11.5 from here if the market goes up definitely i am going to earn more because ultimately when i list i am going to match you but for here if it market falls which is probability is very less even if it falls i have a cushion that i have created so this is my buy side this is where i win the confidence of the promoter and this is where it helps me in coming at a substantially attractive p multiple now let's very quickly see what is my sell side i'll try to make it a non political statement but we need to understand uh, how the government of india has been pushing this sector so what has happened mekshan ji as you would appreciate over a period of time 7 8 years ago the indian economy was stock market was heavily dependent on foreign institutional investors that is not the story anymore the diis so called have become very strong ab ipl dekhte hai each and every every cricketer today is advertising mutual fund beat sachin beat dhoni beat rohit bumrah everybody is advertising mutual fund so what's that interest is 18500 crore check 
they get at the start of the every month so technically government of india has helped mutual fund industry to grow phenomenally high and that's where government's message is if i you want to go most welcome you can go i have di to protect but that's where the second problem started now the same mutual fund industry started selling sir thank you very much i'm putting in a very layman term in a very easy way ki aapne hame bada to kar diya but now he was the i mean used to invest because where do they invest such money they cannot invest outside india they are not going to invest they can they are not going to invest into the unlisted segment so now they have they are growing day by day every day they are increasing plus they have to invest into the listed segment only so that became technically the responsibility of the authorities to ensure that more and more company pass through the ipo channel because once you pass through the ipo channel then only mutual fund can, can come and invest into your company otherwise they cannot invest into your company so how did government of india solve this problem well, not government of india this is the regulators so what they did to bring any ipo as i said you have to bring the anchor investor and right. proper sebi or rbi registered people ye anchor ka pehle lock in hua karta tha 12 mahine when the mutual fund industry was small as they grew the lock in came from 12 months to 6 months from 6 months it came down to 3 months from 3 months now the lock in is 50% 1 month 50% 3 months means imagine kijiye maximum ki aap kisi bade mutual fund ke fund manager ho earlier if you could do 4 ipos with the kind of money you have now with the same money you can do 24 ipos mm -hmm. Because your lock-in has reduced, liquidity has increased. So mm. because the liquidity has increased, आप लोग जो बोल रहे हो कि IPO boom आ रहा है, IPO boom आ रहा है, IPO boom आ रहा है, why IPO boom is there? Because they have reduced, increased the liquidity into the market, so that more and more IPOs could pass through the IPO channel. And why did they did my analysis or our analysis that so that the wealthiest animal can come and invest into their fund? And this is exactly where we are. So government, government can be benefit from it because जैसे आपकी company IPO होती है, rules and regulations strict हो जाते हैं. ज्यादा डेटाबेस मिल जाता है कंपनीज को सो वी आर इन टू द एग्जैक्ट स्वीट स्पॉट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट व्हिच दे आर प्रमोटिंग व्हिच इज अ नेकेड ट्रुथ नो सेकंड जजमेंट इज रिक्वायर्ड दैट दे वांट टू प्रमोट म्यूचुअल फंड दैट्स अ गिवन फैक्ट बट इफ दे वांट टू ग्रो दे हैव टू सपोर्ट देम आल्सो विद द मोर एंड मोर कंपनीज कमिंग थ्रू आईपीओ एंड इट इज एग्जैक्टली बिजनेस वी आर डूइंग ऑफ ब्रिंगिंग मोर एंड मोर कंपनीज टू द आईपीओ चैनल सो इनडायरेक्टली मेरा रिस्क ये है इफ यू थिंक द म्यूचुअल फंड इंडस्ट्री इज गोइंग टू गो डाउन इन नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट 3 इयर्स टाइम then let me be upfront this is a risky business because koi bhi business mein aapka buyer poor ho gaya aap risky business kar rahe ho but if you think that this industry is going to grow up over a period of 3 years then you know where we are standing in this fund particularly so that is how mixam ji i am trying to cover uh, uh, buy side and the sell side of my fund so thus it ends so anybody has any questions happy to answer and if i have gone a little bit fast in the interest of the time apologies for the same but mixam ji any questions feel free to ask me thanks thanks nishant it was uh, nicely explained in a in a much easier manner uh, just one question from my side first uh, before we get uh, yes, questions from our audience so they uh, i would request audience they can raise their hand or they can just put their question in the q and a chat box uh, see you are talking about companies which are pat positive in the tune of 200 to 300 turn over uh 200 to 300 crore turnover how easy to find this companies uh one thing you have uh, actually mentioned why the promoter would like to dilute his equity uh, uh at discount to you when they can get a, a 3x to 4x valuation at the time of ipo that you have beautifully explained why they need you and how you can be a one stop solutions but how do you find those companies so point very simple as sir that's called having presence into the market for last 10 years so last 10 years as i said that my opening statement was small or big we have executed 109 ipos somebody asked the question so i just read in the q and a till today it has never happened that my merchant banking team has filed the drhp and they have failed to bring the ipo the failure ratio is zero practically barring last four ipos which were filed in last 3 months other than that they have never failed in bringing the ipo so when you have such a track record uh that's where the market name is there and we have done maximum number of transactions in the tier 2 so what happens is that the uh, our catchment area is always tier 2 because tier 1 ke promoter ko they are too smart ye jo maine aapko pe multiple wagera sikha hai wo mujhe sikhate pe multiple kya hai but tier 2 mein aap jaoge to market ka reach kam hai so that's where we try to make 
सेकंड थिंग क्या हो रहा है कि आप देखिए आई एम नॉट नो मिस अंडरस्टैंडिंग बट मोस्ट ऑफ द गाइस हैव हैव इन्वेस्टेड इनटू सो कॉल्ड यू नो आप किसी भी कैटेगरी टू का बैलेंस शीट निकाल के देखिए मोस्ट ऑफ द कंपनीज विल फाइंड इन ओला जोमेटो नजारा एनएससी बाइजू चेन्नई सुपर किंग फार्मेसी आपको उनके बुक्स में ये मिलेंगे या स्टार्टअप मिलेंगे बट जो मिड मार्केट है इंडिया का एसेट बैक कंपनी है इसमें बहुत कम फंड में इन्वेस्ट कर रहे हैं सो टेक्निकली इसी के लिए क्योंकि या तो आपको स्टार्टअप का एंट्री मिलेगा या फिनटेक वाले मिलेंगे या ई कॉमर्स वाले मिलेंगे बट जो एसेट बैक कंपनी जो इंडिया का बैकबोन है यहाँ पे बहुत कम फंड सपोर्ट कर रहे सो दैट इज द रीजन सो कॉल्ड कॉम्पिटिशन कम है डिमांड सप्लाई हमारे फेवर में आ रहा है सो दैट्स वेयर वी प्ले आउट प्लस टेन ईयर्स का हिस्ट्री है प्लस हंड्रेड आईपीओ का नाम है plus invariably bigger funds have come and invested invariably in our, our ipos so because of that by default we get the traction into this market and the sal ke mehnat sir and most important database the reason why we have invested so heavily into artificial intelligence is this reason only just to get our database stronger day by day so 10 years hard work artificial intelligence and uh, good results that we have generated over a period of last so many years so that shows that is the reason why we are getting good transactions that is even deployment is also faster in first fund the we invested almost 70% of our capital in less than 3 months time whereas the people who started fund with us today they are at 27 38 for 30% deployment where we are more than double than that reason the market reach okay so we we have an interesting question from our next clients yes. so He's saying I'm going by what I see in Shark Tank India, so not sure if it is to present a representation of a market. I see most of the businesses are run on cash burn model, and they seem to be playing the valuation game and not profitability. How do you see this impact the private equity space? Sir, I am not able to sure who has asked this question, but this is an excellent question. Let me tell you, uh, after so many webinars, this is the first time I'm facing this question, but I love this question. So this is from or, uh, this is from Mr. Abhijit. Uh, he's joined from out of India. Thank you, Abhijit ji. I really appreciate this question, sir. Order man out of the order man out exactly like this. Today, as I said, valuation ke multiple kya hai? P multiple, EBITDA multiple, revenue multiple. That day, make sure when we were discussing, we were discussing about footfall multiple. So unfortunately, I done my CA, but CA me to mujhe sikha hai nahi. The CA ke portion me footfall multiple nahi tha. So most of the guys, if you see, they are talking the language of EBITDA multiple, cash burn model. Cash burn मतलब क्या है? Patty नहीं है. इससे के लिए EBITDA EBITDA पे जा रहे हैं. क्यों EBITDA पे जा रहे हैं? Because Patty नहीं है. EBITDA भी नहीं है. तो क्या करें? फिर revenue multiple पे जाएं. उसमें यदि अचानक से एक आदमी आपको Patty multiple की भाषा बात करता है, hmm. immediately odd man out आपको investor contraction दे जाता है. So in fact that benefits के आज के market में भी when all यही बता ना मोस्ट ऑफ द नेम्स जो मैंने आपको बताया एटी परसेंट मार्केट कहाँ डायवर्ट हो रहा है ट्वेंटी परसेंट तो जो ऑल कंपनीज़ ऑन कैश बन मॉडल एंड द सेम एप्लेस अगेन आई एम थर्ड टाइम फोर्थ टाइम डिस्क्लेमिंग कि आई एम नॉट अगेन स्टार्टअप वी आवर सेल्फ डन हेवी इन्वेस्टमेंट सो एक ऑड मैन के तौर पे इमीडिएटली इन्वेस्टर ट्रैक्शन मिलता है क्योंकि अगेन आई रिपीट दिस काइंड ऑफ अ कंपनी इन्वेस्टर का पैसा सेफ रहता है जब आपको पैसा सेफ रहता है तो आपको अच्छा इन्वेस्टर बाय डिफॉल्ट होता है इसी के लिए मैक्सिमम जी मेरे हर एक कंपनी में वेरेवर आई हैव इन्वेस्टेड मनी इन माय फर्स्ट फंड इनवेरिएबल या बिगर फंड हैज कम एंड फॉलोड माय इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हाई टू थिंग्स बिकॉज़ दे आल्सो नो इफ पेंटो मैट इज इन्वेस्टिंग द प्रोबेबिलिटी इट्स अ गेम ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ आईपीओ इज वेरी हाई and second this is a traditional asset back company pat positive company so aapka investment ka value zero nahi ho jayega so we get the benefit that when everybody is chasing that alpha we are chasing a lower alpha but with the element of safety kyunki dekho principle of totality mein mark aayenge ek aapka 100 300 ho jayega but agla 200 zero ho gaya to 300 wala 300 aaya but yahan principle kyunki fund management ka principle hai principle of totality ek 100 300 karke aapka return nahi aayega मार्केट में पब्लिक साउथ के 300 ही बोलते हैं बट रिटर्न टोटलिटी पे हमें एंड प्रिंसिपल ऑफ टोटलिटी पे मैं आपको सेफ करके जा रहा हूं सो दैट इज वेयर वी स्टैंड आउट एज कंपेयर टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द पीयर्स आई वुड से इफ आई हैव करेक्टली आंसर द क्वेश्चन ऑफ अभिजीत जी थैंक्स थैंक्स निशान वी हैव अ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मिस्टर चेतन राजपूत व्हाट वर द रिटर्न्स ऑफ फर्स्ट एआईएफ दैट यू आर इन्वेस्टर गॉट हैज इट क्लोज Uh, yeah. in addition to this um, and i want to add some uh, one more question to first ai uh, you said that you have raised 500 uh, crore in first ai so is it deployed fully uh, yeah. and how many companies so, 
so basically we have invested 70% into uh, what we do is sir we believe in not investing more than 8% into one company though regulators allow me to go up to 24% because that is called as a concentration risk that is a call investment committee has taken that don't take more than 8% pledge so 100 divided by 8 is 12 companies so what we do is that 85% of the capital we believe in investing like what i gave the presentation and 15% i mean going as an anchor so anchor money will come as and when the ipo comes so that is a that is a liquid money where you can enter and get out in the 6 months time so in terms of out of that 85 we have already deployed 75 in a shortest period of time we wanted to cover that last deployment in march only because october the fund got closed but in march most of the people say that uh, tax come and gst payment come so delay your drawdown so that is where it stretch the drawdown to the month of april end but otherwise we would have invested fully so that deployment happened in less than five months time and that was the quickest and if i have to talk about the returns the people who have invested in first fund at the time of uh, first closure, then today their mark to mark stands 2.5 times. And in terms of NAV times, they stand 1.7x. So that is in a period of little more than one and a half years times. So mark to market and NAV are a little bit different. NAV we increase when the fall on investment come at a higher level. That is where the NAV gets increased because wherever we are invested, the more money has come at a higher valuation, that's where the NAV has increased. So in terms of NAV, it is one point. But mark to market is exactly what the competitors are trading at IPO multiple. If I take that, then you are more than 2.5 times in less than, I think, little more than one year time. One year, three months or one year, five months. Times. So that has been the trend of the first fund. Uh, we have next question from Mr. Rajendra here. Uh, yes. He has basically two questions. First, are we saying that the mid-site companies are staff of funds to get the step growth? Uh, conversely, how much support besides the money that would be required by this company to grow as expected? Sir, uh, Bullsheim. Uh, yes, they have started because traditional bank funding may bank funding that they have to grow. So what we bring to the table is so they go, what is the mid-market company? You will not find CFO over there. You will not find CEO over there. They are traditionally managed because promoter knows the business. Everything promoter does on their own. So you have to professor up. They simple simple clause hai, apka IPO lana hai. Companies are khud bolta hai, on the day of IPO, you need to have the CFO. What does the law say? It means you need to have a professional setup. CFO chahiye, IPO ke din, ye companies act law hai. Mera law to nahi hai. That means you need to have a professional setup. So yes, mid-size company are start for the capital also, because technically, as I said, most of the funds do go for those kind of a companies that I said or the startup. Mid market, unfortunately, vacuum hai gaya hai. that is the one reason. And there is a life beyond banking also. Bank money may confirm up come on, hai, come on, up bank to wapas dena hai dena hai. So that becomes the hit on your PL also. So and bank does not add any value addition to your business. And yes, if you can a example, je, take Puna is a industrial hub, sir. 400, 500 product ki manufacturing company, aapke passion ki, kitni company ke paas artificial intelligence ka support hai. Bohat kam hai, sir. And if you are telling me that in today's market, you can grow your business without AI network, make sure that aapka business ho ya, mera business ho ya, apne viewers ka business ho, is an impossible statement. So that is where we come into the picture. My classic example deta hon aapko. I had one Rajput based company and uh, this point can maybe answer. Practical examples ka mention hota hai. They wanted to outsource their certain manufacturing line to a Puna based company. So being, I am the board of the director of that company. So they told me, sir, approval they do. So I am the chartered accountant. Mujhe kuch mein technical nahi hai rahi. I just asked my AI model to check ye Puna company ka, uh, financials. Kya hai. So they just run the AI and told me that, look, they are not paying their GST on time for last nine months. Looks to be a great, great signal for that. So in the board meeting, I told the promoter, okay, look, you are outsourcing your work to Puna guy. That is good. But they are eating your credit line also. Promoter very openly said, good Nishat sir, you reject it, but you company not see it. You have to do the same thing, you reject it. So he was very adamant. So the other thing is that how many companies in the 24 sector of India have in that sector? What is their top line? What is their profitability? What is their private equity investor? The entire data along with the director's contact details gave them to them in 24 hours. आज एक सोचिए 400 करोड़ की कंपनी का परचेस डिपार्टमेंट ये करने को जाएगा कितना टाइम लगेगा 24 आवर्स में तो मेक्सिकन जी किसी भी हालत में नहीं आने सो दैट्स वेर एआई हेल्प 
one more example my one of my investing company has a very large distribution network in germany when we invested in them they had a very good conviction ki we are a very good base into germany and they do have they, they did not lie to us but once we invested we run our ai model and in their core competence of germany we give them more number of distributors than what they knowing over the last 10 years how did we do it nothing but ai so this is how mid market we are supporting ai ai ka push milega तो मिड मार्केट कंपनी ग्रो होती है बिकॉज अगेन वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू हेल्ड ओर इज दैट ए आई गिवज यू पिन पॉइंट एक्यूरेट डेटा सो दैट इज द बेनिफिट ऑफ ए आई सिर्फ पैसे से काम नहीं बनेगा पैसा भी देना है कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस भी देना है क्योंकि कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस नहीं दोगे तो आगे रेगुलेटर्स अप्रूवल नहीं देंगे सो so, पैसा भी देना है कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस भी देना है और आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस भी देना है तीनों दो मिड साइज कंपनी को ग्रो होती है क्योंकि ग्रोथ है देखी उन्होंने उनको बिजनेस एस्टेब्लिश किया अब ग्रोथ चाहिए Thanks, thanks, Nishad. Uh, so we have uh, next question from Mr. Chetan. Is there any possibility to exit if an investor needs funds before closure? Technically, its answer yes or no both are. So I officially give you the answer. So as per the CBI, redemption is not possible. Okay. But what CBI has done recently is that they have allowed. Abhi, as per the new regulation, uh, demand is mandatory. So your units will directly go and hit in your demand. So in first fund, most of the got. investors got the unit in a paper format but now that is not allowed so units will go and hit into the demand so secondary sale is allowed on of course you have to take the noc of the fund because fund has to do the in, uh, of the due diligence of the new uh, investor so second sale is allowed but if you come for the redemption then they be doesn't permit that but second sale is allowed so many guys in my first fund they are quitting not many two or three only so they have found their investors and they are quitting they are coming to me for noc I check the background of the new investors, and the transaction is on. So the investors have to uh, find out a new buyer. They have to find out. This market will grow, make some more amount of time. The reason why they have done it in a demand format is to grow this market. Okay. Uh, we have a next questions on taxation. How taxation works here when when someone so, invests? Taxation is basically the payment structure work. How much to be paid when? Okay, so basically. So basically, what happens for it is that your uh, drawdown will come quarterly. I can give you a rough drawdown that you can expect a twenty percent drawdown coming over a period of every quarterly. So April, June, July, September. That's what you can expect. So you are investing over a period of time. I just said I have a thirty months exit clause. So the first invested the exit was start flowing from thirty or a thirty six months. So first entry and the last exit could be four years. That is why we have gone and told regulators that we want a five years time. But your total capital is not going to be with me beyond two years time because you're investing over a period of time one year and then from thirtieth or thirty six months onwards the exit should technically start triggering because I'm not going to reinvest as and when the return comes I'm going to give your money back so entering into the batches exiting into the batches this is how it is going to work and taxation this is a pass through mechanism means fund does not pay any tax but if I invest into the I believe these are all resident investors make sure that I'm talking as per the resident investor non resident के लिए taxation थोड़ा अलग है तो मैं टीडीएस काट के आपको पैसा दूंगा सो इफ आई एम एग्जिटिंग इन अ लिस्टेड सेगमेंट देन द लॉन्ग टर्म इज 10% एंड शॉर्ट टर्म इज 15% 15 95% तो मैं लिस्टेड में एग्जिट मारूंगा बट इन केस इफ आई अनलिस्ट में ही एग्जिट मार दिया सो बिफोर आईपीओ मैंने एग्जिट मारा जिसकी प्रोबेबिलिटी मैं देख नहीं रहा हूं बट यू नेवर नो अबाउट द फ्यूचर देन लेट मी क्लेरिफाई दैट पॉइंट आल्सो अनलिस्टेड में लॉन्ग टर्म इज 20% विद इंडेक्सेशन and short term unfortunately comes at the highest tax level which will get added to your income so that is how but expect listed exit only most of the exit most time super majority of the exit will be in a listed segment which is long term dust taka short term panel taka thanks so the next question is on uh, uh, saying you had invested in your earlier fund uh, both you and your company Uh, what is the case for this funds? Are you going to invest again in this fund? Must have, must have. वो से भी permission नहीं देगा उसके PPM ही approve नहीं होगा. So most governing document between you and us is called as a private placement memorandum, which is like a DRHP. So CBI has mandated that वो नहीं करेंगे तो approval ही नहीं मिलेगा. So you'll have your skin in the game. Has to be. Fund also. Has to be. ना तो even the big guys will not come. For example, institutions जो आते हैं, in fact when the institution come they ask us to jack up the investment also. For example, in first fund uh, uh, earlier we had uh, 20 CR as our the group investment. When when the government of India's fund of fund invested, they ask us 20 say, "Come, we will go. You have to jack up by 
फाइव करोड़ इंच तो ट्वेंटी फाइव कर दिया वेर एज लिमिटेड रिक्वायरमेंट वी आर वेल विद इन दी रिक्वायरमेंट तो सेबी के हिसाब से तो रिक्वायरमेंट कर दी थी बट बिग गाइज कम दे आस पास टू जैकअप दाम सो एज एंड वेन द बड़े खिलाड़ी आते हैं बड़े इन्वेस्टर्स आते हैं दे आस पास टू हैव मोर स्किन इन टू द गेम बट विदाउट स्किन इन टू द गेम वी कैन स्टार्ट दम the next one is what backup plans you have in place if ipo doesn't materialize as i said immediately jo do clause trigger ho rahe hai plus to actually probability kam hai sir but fir bhi hota hai to right for a stake sale i can drag drag along clause bhi hote hain so for example mera 10% to main bech sakta but sometimes if a bigger guy comes he may say i am not interested in the 10% i am interested in the bigger chunk so that's called drag along i can drag promoter shares also that's where 90% comes since promoter is 90% वो ड्राइव वाला क्लोज अलाउ नहीं करेगा बिकॉज उसका चाबी उसके हाथ से निकल जाता है एंड फर्स्ट फंड में ईच एंड एवरी शेयर होल्डर्स एग्रीमेंट वी हैव दैट क्लोज ऑफ 18 टू 24 परसेंट आई आर बाय बाय किसी में 18 है किसी में 20 है किसी में 24 है सो दैट बाय बाय क्लोज इज देयर कैन यूएस बेस एनआरआ इन्वेस्ट इन दिस फंड सो यस वी आर स्टार्टिंग आवर गिफ्ट सिटी आल्सो so first fund we do not have gift city presence but second fund we are starting our gift city presence so we are having a parallel fund into let's call it a feeder structure very much allowed by regulators so they can come under feeder structure also they can come directly into the fund also but i have only one request of course they need to have indian pan nobody can invest into this fund without indian pan and dmat if they do not have indian pan and dmat then they, they need to go to the gift city structure because gift city investment you do not need indian pan Right. Uh, only thing I want to add over is that in US, in terms of return, you have to file a form called as a K1 or a K10. Right. Uh, for that form, we will give the information that they want, and uh, returns they have to manage at their own because I do not have registration into US. So let me clarify. Uh, uh, out of in first fund, out of 500 crore, uh, 150 crore check has come from a US based big HNI. So rest assured, first fund me 20. 13% of the fund came from us based and us based citizens i would say not us uh, residents us citizens second maybe already us citizens are there but k1 or k10 jara dhyan mein rakhna wo aapko information de denge because i do not have the registration into us so that they need to manage there otherwise the second option is come into the gift city structure okay i think we don't have any more questions looks like Just a second. Yeah, I think no more questions, Nisha. So, uh, thank you, thank you so much for such a wonderful insights on private equity space. Uh, it really helps our client to understand how you, as a fund manager, uh, does in-depth work while investing in unlisted space. How you run the fund, how you manage the funds, and how you make money for your investors. So thank you so much once again, and we express our sincere gratitude to all the participants who have joined us today. We hope uh, you all like the session. Uh, if you need any further information on this fund, please reach out to us. We look forward to meeting you all in next month Penta Talk series again. Uh, before before we and I wanted to put a standard disclaimer as per the regulators. So mass marketing is definitely not allowed under this. Right. So viewers should take this as a educational or a knowledge sharing seminar, uh, webinar rather than taking as a pitch book or a marketing seminar. So this was certainly not a marketing seminar. This was a more of a knowledge sharing seminar. So that disclaimer is will stand always because that's a regulatory uh, disclaimer. This stands both from your side and my side as well. Yeah, yeah. Disclaimer to banta hai whenever there is interest. <laughs> But thank you so much. So till then, uh, goodbye. Take care and have a great weekend ahead. Thank you. Thank, all. thank you, Mr. Shambhu. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.